In the vastness of our system lurks a considerable mystery, a source of energy and life, our sun. For a decade, the Space Guardian, NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, has been our unblinking eye on this fiery giant. This mission, launched into space February 11, 2010, set out on an odyssey not just to observe, but to unravel the mysteries of our nearest star. Imagine a world where a single second reveals a story millions of years old, where plumes of fire burst from the surface of the sun, larger than the Earth itself. It's a world that explores SDO, a world where every three-fourths of a second a new image is captured, each one a piece of the puzzle in understanding the sun's impact on our solar system. As we venture through a decade of solar observations, we're immersed in a realm where colossal waves ripple across the sun's surface, where plasma eruptions challenge our understanding of physics, and where the solar cycle resonates throughout the solar system. This is not just a journey of a satellite and a star. It is a story of discovery, the challenges faced in overcoming them. Our journey with the Solar Dynamics Observatory begins with a momentous event, launch. February 11, 2010. Amidst the roar of the engines and the fiery takeoff of the Atlas V rocket, SDO begins its mission to explore the mysteries of the sun. This launch marked not only the beginning of the mission, but also the beginning of a new era in solar observations. Once in space, SDO moved into geostationary orbit, positioned to have an unobstructed view of the sun. Its main goal? To understand the sun's influence on Earth and the solar system by studying the solar atmosphere in unprecedented detail. Central to this mission is a suite of sophisticated instruments aboard SDO, each designed to study different aspects of the sun's behavior. Prominent among them is the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly. This remarkable instrument takes images of the solar atmosphere at different wavelengths, each revealing different features of the sun. The capabilities of the AIA are truly revolutionary. It observes the sun in 10 different wavelengths, each tuned to a specific temperature of solar material. This allows scientists to see the sun's surface and atmosphere in a spectrum of colors, with each color revealing unique phenomena. AIA's observations have been instrumental in advancing our understanding of solar dynamics, from cooler and darker sunspots to blazing hot coronal loops. Over the past decade, it's tirelessly observed the sun, taking more than 425 million high-resolution images, each image contributing to a continuous stream of data, painting a vivid portrait of the sun's dynamic behavior. Why do we study the sun so diligently? The answer lies in the sun's profound influence on our system. It is the heart of our cosmic environment, controlling processes from polar lights on Earth to weather patterns on other planets. Understanding the sun means understanding the fundamental processes that govern our corner of the universe. Through the eyes of the AIA, we witness the story of the sun unfold in real time. Ejections of solar material, twisting magnetic fields, and the intricate dance of solar flares have all been captured in stunning detail. The AIA didn't just open a window into the sun's activity. It paved the way to understanding the complex interactions that drive solar weather. This decade-long observation has revealed the dynamic nature of the sun in unprecedented detail. From the ebb and flow of solar flares to the mysterious 11-year solar cycle, SDO has provided insight into phenomena that was once mere speculation. The mission has witnessed previously unfathomable solar events. 
Across the vast expanse of space, the Solar Dynamics Observatory plays the role of a vigilant observer, capturing every nuance of the sun with unprecedented precision. Over its decade-long operation, SDO has amassed a stunning collection of more than 425 million high-resolution images, creating a continuous image of the sun's ever-changing face. Imagine a world in which every fraction of a second reveals a new aspect of our star. SDO operates in such a mode, acquiring images of the sun every 0.75 seconds. This relentless pace of observation allows us to see the dynamic nature of the sun in real time, capturing processes and changes that were once beyond our view. SDO's ability to observe the sun at different wavelengths has opened up new possibilities for understanding our star. Each wavelength reveals a unique layer of the sun's atmosphere, from its turbulent surface to the outer limits of its corona. This multi-wavelength approach allows us to see the sun in all its manifestations. Among the wavelengths that SDO observes, one that stands out is the extreme ultraviolet wavelength of 17.1 nanometers. This particular wavelength gives us a unique view of the solar corona, the outermost part of its atmosphere. The corona is a hotbed of solar activity where temperatures reach millions of degrees where the mysteries of solar phenomena such as coronal mass ejections and solar flares lie. Through the SDO prism, the corona is no longer a dark region, but a bright, dynamic environment. We see coronal loops, giant arcs of plasma driven by the sun's magnetic field, and witness eruptions that send waves of solar material into space. These observations are not just visually stunning, they are key in helping us understand how the sun affects space weather and, in turn, our own planet. As we continue to explore the sun with SDO, every image and observation at every wavelength adds to our understanding of our star's enigmatic corona, revealing a dynamic and complex celestial body like never before. By embarking on a quest to decipher the 11-year solar cycle, the Solar Dynamics Observatory has been at the forefront of solar science. This cycle, a rhythm that's puzzled astronomers for years, is characterized by periodic changes in the sun's activity, including the frequency of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections. SDO's decade-long observations cover nearly a full solar cycle, offering a front row view of the sun's changing dynamics. During periods of solar maximum, the sun is a swarm of activity, teeming with sunspots and erupting with intense solar flares. Conversely, during solar minimum, the sun enters a quieter phase with fewer sunspots and less surface activity. Throughout its mission, SDO has witnessed and meticulously recorded many solar events. Incredible eruptions of plasma known as coronal mass ejections have been captured in detail, revealing the enormous energy released as these events unfold. Solar flares and intense bursts of radiation have been observed in different wavelength ranges, providing insight into the mechanisms that trigger these explosive events. In addition to this spectacle, SDO has also observed rare and mesmerizing passages of planets along the sun's surface. These events, while exciting in their own right, serve a more important purpose in solar science. They offer unique opportunities to study the sun's atmosphere and its interactions with celestial bodies, further expanding our understanding of solar dynamics. In space exploration, challenges are as inevitable as they are varied. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory has faced its fair share of obstacles, each of which has tested the mission's resilience and ingenuity. From Earth shadows and lunar eclipses to technical obstacles, 
such as the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly Instrument Problem in 2016, SDO's path has been thorny and winding. One of the persistent problems SDO faces is eclipses caused by the Earth and Moon. These celestial landmarks, although a natural part of the orbital path, temporarily limit SDO's ability to observe the Sun. Earth eclipses occurring on equinoxes cast a shadow over the observatory, resulting in short periods of darkness and interrupted data transmission. Similarly, lunar transits, although rare, momentarily block SDO's view of the sun, creating a unique but challenging scenario for solar observing. In 2016, SDO faced a major challenge when its key instrument atmospheric imaging assembly encountered technical difficulties. This failure jeopardized one of the mission's most important data streams. The AIA, responsible for high-resolution imaging of the solar atmosphere, is integral to understanding the sun's dynamic behavior. The problem with AIA was complex and revolved around the problem of detecting and analyzing invisible coronal mass ejections. CMEs, which occur at high altitudes in the solar corona and regions with weaker magnetic fields, are notoriously difficult to observe. Unlike typical CMEs, which appear as visible dimmings or brightenings on the sun, hidden CMEs can often be detected only with special instruments like a chronograph. Solving the AIA problem required a coordinated effort between engineers and scientists. The team applied new techniques to visualize the remote sensing data acquired by the AIA by comparing different images, current images of the sun with images taken 12 hours earlier. The team was able to capture slow changes in the lower part of the corona. This method revealed subtle, previously overlooked changes in the sun's magnetic fields and plasma loops. Advanced image processing techniques, including wavelet packet equalization and multi-scale Gaussian normalization, were applied to improve the visibility of these subtle changes. These techniques allowed the team to detect dimmings and brightenings in the sun's disk associated with hidden CMEs, which was a breakthrough in solar observation. Successfully addressing these changes not only allowed the mission to continue, but also enriched our understanding of what it takes to sustain a long-term space observatory. As we delve deeper into the implications of the Solar Dynamics Observatory findings, we discover the Sun's profound influence not only on Earth, but also on the broader expanse of space. Decades of SDO observations have greatly advanced our understanding of space weather and its many implications for our planet and beyond. Space weather, the term for the energetic activity of the sun, includes phenomena like solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and solar energetic particles. These events, born from the sun's dynamic surface and atmosphere, can propagate through space, affecting both planets and spacecraft. When it comes to Earth, the effects of space weather are both interesting and far-reaching. The interaction of solar wind and coronal mass ejections with Earth's magnetosphere can lead to spectacular auroras, commonly known as the northern and southern lights. However, these interactions can also have more devastating consequences, such as disruptions to satellites, communication systems, and even power grids. The SDO findings have played a significant role in enhancing our ability to predict space weather events. By understanding the mechanisms that cause solar eruptions and their trajectories, scientists can better predict when and how these events might affect Earth. Such prediction is critical to preparing and protecting our technological infrastructure in space and on the ground. Beyond Earth, the implications of SDO research extend throughout the solar system. Understanding space weather is vital to the safety of astronauts in space and to the planning and execution of interplanetary missions. As we venture deeper into space, whether the Moon, Mars, or beyond, 
knowledge of the sun's behavior becomes increasingly important. To summarize, the implications of a decade of SDO observations are profound and far-reaching. This mission's not only deepened our understanding of space weather and its impact on Earth, but it has laid the groundwork for safer space exploration for coming decades. As we look into the future of solar observations, the horizon is full of hope and potential. The current era of solar exploration is marked by groundbreaking missions such as the Parker Solar Probe and Solar Orbiter. The Parker Solar Probe, launched in 2018, has already come closer to the sun than any spacecraft ever before and will eventually dive into the corona to tell us about its mysteries. The Solar Orbiter, the product of a collaboration between ESA and NASA, launched in 2020, and it's equipped to provide a comprehensive view of the sun's poles and its outer atmosphere, previously unexplored regions. These missions are equipped with state-of-the-art instruments designed to study the sun in new ways. The Parker Solar Probe's journey through the solar corona promises insight into fundamental processes that govern the solar wind and solar energetic particles. The Solar Orbiter's unique orbit and extensive suite of instruments will provide a holistic view of the sun's atmosphere, magnetic field, and solar wind. Looking ahead, the future of solar observation has brilliant potential. The opportunities for new discoveries are as vast as the sun itself. We can unlock the secrets of the sun's magnetic field dynamics, leading to a better understanding of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Studying the sun's inner workings could reveal more about the workings of its 11-year solar cycle. As we continue to observe and study the sun, we stand on the threshold of a new era in solar science that promises to illuminate the darkest corners of our understanding of the star that sustains life here on Earth. <laughs>